you guys want to go there or what? Looks like we have no choice. Get over there then. Alright, big shot, what do we have to do? All of you, take your pants down. Right? That's what I want to hear. Hey, I'm just kidding. Get back there, get Damn back there. What is the sub goal? It's the return of the retrospective event. Where if we hit 550 subs in January, I will be doing a special marathon style stream where we look back at many, many different moments of my 10 years as a content creator. We'll be looking at playthroughs. We'll be looking at edited videos and game reviews. We'll be looking at vlogs. We'll be looking at a bunch of stuff. And basically I'll be reacting to it, doing, giving behind the scenes kind of commentary about it. Um, I did this very thing in September Okay, and people absolutely loved it. They thought that it was incredibly fun and wanted me to do it again. Okay, and so I said, you know what? What the hell? Why not do it again? Let's set it up as a new monthly goal. We're very close. Only 23 subs away from hitting it. With eight straight days of streaming ahead, I'm pretty confident we can hit this goal. So just throwing during that, throwing that out there, guys. If I can't raise a lot of money between now and April, um, I'm pretty much faced with no other option but to sell this house. And it sucks because I've worked my ass off to earn this place. I at one point had no problems affording it. Um, the reason that I'm in the situation right now that I'm in is because basically I have lost tons of potential income that I should have been earning because of trollish activities against me. If you want a sub? And get in on that now would be a great time okay also before we we uh do the schedule update just so you guys know yesterday i talked a little bit on pre-stream about um about new emotes in the stream chat about a dab emote and a t-pose emote i've decided against them we're not going to use them mostly because i really do feel that it would mostly be a negative influence on the channel and you'd get people Basically doing it just to troll and come in and spam the channel and ask for dabbing and t-posing and basically just derailing everything In general, it seemed like most people who actually are positively supportive of my content did not want it And I said, you know what? We're not gonna do it. However The very same person who designed those emotes said, okay, well, I understand what I, I still want to make emotes for the channel And so they're currently working um, on a couple more All right for us and I told them, you know, hey the sooner the better, but you no, know, you know, no rush. They're doing it for free. So they said they want. They had two ideas. I said both ideas sound good, and so they're working on those right now. And hopefully within a couple days, maybe we'll have a, a you know prototype and see if they look any good. So maybe we will have some new emotes within a, a couple of days here. Later tonight, my late stream, my first ever late night stream of Minecraft. This is a game that I played three plus years ago. At the time, I had never played it or understood it. I played it and kind of got it for the first time after years of kind of shitting on the game like an idiot. Because I, I openly admit now I was very stupid and ignorant. So for your first question, do I think that Minecraft can compete with these major games? Absolutely not. Notch has no fucking idea at all about business or marketing. Here's the deal. The reason that people are playing Minecraft is because it is free. It's the same reason that so many people watch my videos. It's the same reason that people on YouTube get millions of views. It's free. When you offer something for free, everyone's going to play it. It's that simple. Or watch it or whatever. You know what I mean? If right now there was an X-Men movie that was released for free over the internet and it was a high-grade thing, everyone would watch it and it would become one of the most popular things ever. But if you make people pay for it, it's a completely different thing. So. Notch is basically going to tell people, starting on November 11th, if you like Minecraft, you have to pay for it to buy it. And I'm not adding anything new. So basically, you're just going to pay to continue playing the game you've been playing for over a year now with no improvements. Guess what, Notch? You're a fucking idiot. Most people are not going to pay for a game they've been playing for a year, and there's nothing new. There's no reason to pay for Minecraft. Minecraft, sure. On its premise, it's a fun thing. It's a crappy graphics engine, but it's a fun game. You get to build whatever you want. You know, there's all kinds of interesting stuff going on there. Uh, but if you pay for it, that's it. I mean, that's the bottom line. The bottom line is people who play this fun game for a year and a half for free, most people are not going to pay for it. It's that simple. So you're, this this question is very timely. When you're, we're going to try to release that game, at the same time as Skyrim, Modern Warfare 3, Battlefield 3, Uncharted 3, 
People who have not played Minecraft are going to look at this shitty graphics engine and say, what the fuck is this? I'm going to go buy Skyrim, you know? People who have bought, played Minecraft up to that point are going to have to make a decision. Do I want to pay for a game I've now played for a year, year and a half with no improvements whatsoever, or should I finally move on to something else that's better? Since I'm being forced to pay, should I pay for something with high production values, etc., or should I pay for this shitty game that I've played for free for a couple years? I really strongly feel the answer is going to be, fuck Minecraft, let's go play something else. So, Notch, I say congratulations on your success so far. The problem is you didn't find a way to monetize it. Now you're going to try to find this, this way to monetize it. It's not going to work. My prediction, Minecraft's going to fade away. It's going to go away. Second question was, am I going to play Minecraft on its release day? Absolutely not. I'm, why would I pay for that game? Like, that game, again, it's made to be a free game. That's why people like it. It's a fun game to fuck around with it for a little bit. That's not a game you pay for. Why would I pay for that? I, I, I'd be out of my fucking mind, you know? Oh, no. What well, the Sam, fuck is this? At last, the one no! thing I've always desired. No! A game I had absolutely no! nothing to do with. Anything but this! But is it enough? No! That, Stanley. I'm in hell! Will it ever be enough? I'm in hell! I'll say this. I'm done making things for you. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. No! Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. Kill me! Just drop it right on my head. <laughs> what the this fuck? Will go here. No, stop here. doing this. Here. And then... No, kill me. Oh my god, they're forcing me to play Minecraft. I never wanted to play this game. I have more than three brain cells. These must be YouTubers known for doing like Minecraft or something. Some sort of... <clears throat> Talk to the cat. Oh, I'd rather talk to the cat, probably the most interesting person here. <laughs> Alright, who's this? Why do all the girls in here have incredibly dyed hair so they look like fucking cartoon or anime characters? Oh, because you appeal to a small audience of children uh, to make your money. Makes sense. <laughs> children who have no money and don't actually buy anything based off the ad revenue that you make on your videos, so it's completely worthless. Oh, anyway... So what are you going to do with the rest of your life once no one cares about Minecraft anymore and your entirety of your existence has been based off of making videos about one singular game? Oh. Never mind. Let's, uh, let's ask this instead. Ask Stacy about why she wanted to see Tork Dog's <laughs> inventory so bad. How does it feel to know that everything you've ever done on the internet that's notable was completely and utterly a waste of time? What do you have to hear to be convinced that the white pumpkin <laughs> isn't me? Oh, I have many more shitty videos to make for the small kitties. I need to get back to it, stat. Play the game, I was like, wow, I actually get it. It's relaxing, it's fun, even though there's some rage-inducing things if you understand what you're doing and you're looking for the, the rare items and minerals, you're building, you're doing fun stuff, you know. The game actually is pretty damned addicting and good. Now, I played it years ago on PC. It did not run well on my PC. I played it maybe three sessions, got bored of it, and said, all right, that's enough. But here's the thing. Three plus years ago, I was a much different content creator. I was not doing interactive streams. Right? I didn't, I barely, I would stream, I would act like I was just making videos for YouTube, seriously. There would be no interaction whatsoever with you guys. Um, it was a very different time, okay? In the last two years, I've basically completely reinvented myself as someone who, you know, is constantly in, interacting and doing things differently now than I used to. Now, obviously tonight, considering the fact that I, it's the first time I'm seriously doing this, I'm not doing anything crazy. We're just going to be in my own game, messing around my own game world. You know, you know, trying to figure stuff out. I'm sure what's going to end up happening, okay, is basically once I do this maybe a few times, if it's successful and people like it, after playing it solo a few times, people may get bored of it and say, now can you do other stuff? In which case, absolutely. Would I go and investigate other people's game worlds to see what they've built? Would I open up my server for people to come in and troll the fuck out of it? Probably yes. No. 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 You know, that's the whole point of Minecraft, right? Is not only just to sit and build by yourself, but eventually to reach out and do other kinds of stuff. And I'd be more than happy to do that kind of stuff as well, okay? Okay. Whew. I'm going to be very honest with all of you. You guys know I love to be an honest guy, right? And, you know, I pride myself on being honest. I always have been. That's why a lot of people hate me, because I share so much information, and then they ended up twisting it against me and stuff. Uh, right now, I I'm a little down in the dumps. Um... You know, and the reason being that it's not, no, it's not the holiday blues. It's basically, you know, everything going on with me. All the, the drama and shit 
and people basically talking shit about me constantly and making stuff up about me and making me say, oh, well, he said this or meant this. No, I didn't say or mean any of that. It just brings me real down. It brings me down, man. It does. And, you know, as I've told you guys, people basically have been messing with me behind the scenes for weeks. Uh, ever since I kind of revealed that I needed your help in regards to financial stuff coming up. And I basically just came into another situation where there was someone who uh, I had been talking with them for a while now. And they had said that they were a supporter. They had said that they were looking to help me. In fact, this was a situation where with all, in light of every, all the other crap that had been going on, I told this person, listen, if you are thinking of donating, which you say you are, this is something that has to be public. I'm going to tell people about it. I'm not going to reveal your name if you want to be anonymous, but I'm going to tell people the mo moment that it happens that you did it so that there's full disclosure and everyone understands and everything. And the person's like, yeah, that's fine. And all of that. Um, and basically, you know, last night, but it, this person was actually a, a po apparently not only just someone who wanted to donate, but was a fan of mine and said, well, I would love to donate and help you, but could I have one of your statues? Okay. And I was like, listen, those statues are just sitting in there doing nothing. I've tried to sell them. I can't sell them. No one in this area is interested. So yeah, absolutely. If you were interested in, you know, getting one of my statues or whatever, sure. Why not? You know, it's not that, and understand this wouldn't be a purchase or a transaction. This would be you donate and then I would just send you a statue basically saying thank you. You know, it would not be a purchase of a statue or anything like that. And they were like, okay, so can you take some pictures of a few of the statues or whatever? Uh, because I'm interested in like these few, do you still have them? And I w this has been a conversation I've had with this person for like over a week going back and forth. This was going on all during the time of the drama of the other guy who claimed he was going to contribute and all of that. Um, and so basically I, I did a lot. Okay. I did. And you're getting all this information and took, sent pictures and everything. And then finally last night I was kind of like, well, you know, we've now been talking for over a week. And, you know, is it, are you for real about this or not? Because you keep saying you're, that you ha you were going to donate and, you know, nothing has come through. You said it was coming. And, I, you know, you keep going back and forth, back and forth. And I said, basically, I get the feeling that you're kind of trolling me just like everybody else. And so if that is the case, then just let this be our last communication because, I, you know, I don't have time to waste on this shit. You know, I'm just trying to be positive and, and, you know, hopeful. But when I get people who are just keep dragging me along and wasting my time, you know what I mean? Um, then just stop. And that was last night. And so far today, I've heard nothing. I get the feeling it was. It was someone who was basically just screwing with me yet again uh, and wasting my time. And it sucks because it is significant time wasted, you know, when I could have been doing other stuff. But you don't know who's real and who's not. You know, you don't. You, there's no way to tell who's legitimate and who actually wants to help. I, at this point, I'm almost to the point, all right, where I feel like if someone actually wanted to help, they just would. They would come to stream and they would tip me, right? They would just come to stream and do it. It wouldn't be, oh, behind the scenes, I want to talk with you for a week about it and hash out details and the possibility of this or that, you know. And it's certainly not to say that it was a situation where, you know, Oh, it was horrible. You know, it's not like anything could have been used against me. I didn't give any personal info. And like I said, this happened during the whole situation with the other guy who was faking it. So I told this person right up front, listen, no, understand if you're going to do this, this has to be something I make public immediately when you do it. I will let everyone know that you did so that everyone's aware that I got this donation and it was generous and it helps out or whatever. Um, and it's just disheartening because, you know, you get hopeful. You do. And then nothing happens, you know, and then at the same time as all that, all right, without getting into any specifics, uh, at the same time, I, I told you guys for the past few days how bad financially things have been for me, and they are, like right now, I have no money, my, my bank account got overdrawn overnight, and I don't have any money to put into it, and it's stuck like this for several days until Twitch pays me, all the money you guys have sent me via tips and stuff already went towards it, and it wasn't enough, it's just a shitty situation, you know, and... It just sucks because there's nothing I can do to fix it or control it right now. You know, like, it's just out of my control. And I hate that feeling. That feeling of shit is out of your control. There's nothing you can do about it. And, you know, next year I know things are going to have to change. Whether it's through some miracle 
that somehow I afford everything coming up or the fact that I have to sell my house. Something has to change next year. And it just really, 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 really sucks that this is all looming on me during the holiday season of all times. You know what I mean? It sucks. I don't want this to be on my fucking mind, but it is. So the reason I'm bringing this up is, guys, you know, today if I'm playing Smash and all of a sudden I lose it and I start freaking out and acting like an asshole, understand that it's not because of you. And more than likely, it's not because of the game. It's because of all this other stuff that's kind of behind me in the, in the back of my fucking head. Okay? Um... And it's bothering the shit out of me. It is, like, you know, I just don't know what else to do. And I apologize. I do. I apologize to unload, but I just want to let you guys... I feel it makes more sense for me to do this now. So now if, if I end up losing my cool during the stream over something that seems stupid, like, why I feel so upset right now, it has nothing to do with that. It's more of the shit going on behind the scenes. You know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> so just understand that, okay? It's not you guys. And it's not the stream, it's not the games. If anything, you know, I think the streams have been great. The Smash streams, you guys have been ch coming out for them, hanging out with me, contributing, everything's been good. It's just that there's other stuff behind the scenes that I can't do anything about that's been fucking with my head. And, you know, I don't want you to feel like, oh my god, why is Phil so angry at us or whatever? It's not. It has nothing to do with you or no nothing. Now, I'm going to do my best to keep it under wraps, but, you know, I feel like I have to say it up front to be just to be responsible just in case I, you know, my anger explodes. <clears throat>